I recently created a video on how nature impacts the development of the body and mind. And this is a continuation of my series where I will be taking my son to all kinds of different places here in San Diego and be sharing different activity ideas that you can do with your kids. So if you can't tell from where we are, we're currently in a desert area. We're actually in Balboa Park. You can go out to the desert out here in San Diego, but for logistical reasons, we came out here to the Cactus Garden, and today we're gonna to be exploring desert plant life as part of our outdoor activities that help to develop the body and mind. The desert is usually the most common place we associate with seeing the sun. And although the sun can have an impact on us, such as too much exposure can burn the skin and make us dehydrated, it also has a lot of very positive effects on the brain. What I learned is that when our eyesight processes sunlight in the retina, it causes the brain to release serotonin, which is a very feel-good chemical in the brain. The sun also creates vitamin D in our body, and vitamin D has been known to help regulate moods and seasonal disorder and depression. The desert is also a fantastic way to teach kids of a completely different ecosystem. Whereas in my previous video on tide pools, we were exploring critters who thrive and live in salt water, the desert is an ecosystem that is opposite of that, deprived of water and usually exposed to extreme heat. Although San Diego has a proper desert near the city, because of logistics, we cheated a little bit and came to Balboa Cactus Gardens right in town because it has a lot of different desert plant life to explore. I also got this little field guide for identifying cactus that I used with my son. We went around looking, trying to match up the different plants with what we saw in the book and read up on the different varieties together. I also explained to my son how cactus and succulents differ from other plants in that they store water in order to survive long periods of exposure in the sun without rain. Once again, this is completely different compared to what we experience at the ocean. So this is a really fun way to learn about particular species that you can have all kinds of different shapes and sizes and designs, and it's a really great activity to soak up the sun. Hope I was able to show and inspire you how spending time out in nature with your kids doesn't need to be overtly complicated and how taking them out and getting a little bit of sunshine going out and exploring can positively impact both the body and mind as well as be opportunities for learning something new. If you enjoyed this video, I'm actually going to be uploading more activity ideas. So go and check out my channel, subscribe and keep in touch and I will see you in the next video.